Enter the spectacular world of cringe trends, where the need for constant companionship turns solo drives and solo dinners into brave and courageous acts. Bravo, modern women, for turning mundane outings into a dramatic saga of independence, complete with a pretty dumb label, master dating. But hold on, there's a TikTok trend brewing, and it's a real gem. Women, tired of the dating scene, decide to date themselves in the name of self-care. Drum roll, please, they call it master dating. It's like a sad rom-com, only without the rom. Because let's be honest, slapping a label on loneliness doesn't make it empowering. It's just smiling through the pain. This Gen Z trend, or as some might call it, a cover-up for antisocial behavior, masquerades as a groundbreaking move. Apparently, women stepping out alone is the next big leap for humanity. Bravo, ladies, for venturing into the wild world of solo ice cream conquests. But let's call a spade a spade. Going out alone is not revolutionary. It's what regular folks do. Excursions, dinners, football games, the usual. Yet in the quest for validation, they've turned everyday activities into feats of extraordinary bravery. Congrats on that solo ice cream, ladies. We knew you could do it. But here's the twist. The more self-sufficient you are, the less you need others. And without that dance of interdependence, relationships fade. It's the inevitable course of social evolution in the first world, bound to happen everywhere as societies strive for advancement. Masculine Women. Let's dive into the realm of masculine women. Dealing with them? It's like handling a perpetually insecure man, always trying to prove a point. And let's not forget those in their late 30s and 40s who've conveniently forgotten their past actions. The chads are gone, average Joes moved on, and now they're left with equally lonely friends. The bitter reality? Feminism, in its quest for empowerment, stripped away feminine qualities, leaving a dating landscape in chaos. But here's the kicker. These women, swimming in a sea of requirements, never reflect on their lives or failures. It's always someone else's fault. The list of demands grows as they age, while their profiles scream, me, me, I want, I need. The delusion is staggering. Maybe it's the princess treatment they've received. The I don't need a man, but I want one shopping mentality. Relationships, much like shopping, involve returns if unsatisfied. Trying different men is akin to trying different shoes. So, ladies, your shopping habits might just be revealing more about your relationship style than you think. Not to mention, back when these women were young, life seemed like a breeze, and the guys their age. Well, they got the cold shoulder. Now that the script is flipped, they find themselves perturbed that the guys of their generation are finally stepping into the spotlight. The truth is the dating game has always been a labyrinth, irrespective of gender. Everyone has their own set of criteria for a partner, subjective and unique to each. Some navigate the dating waters with ease, while others find it a turbulent journey. Dating by nature encompasses risk, rewards, vulnerability, pleasure, and pain, regardless of gender. Accepting that evaluating a potential life partner is no easy feat is the first step toward diminishing disappointment. To be fair, it's a sliding scale for both genders. Women value confidence and stability, commodities in short supply in young men. Men, on the other hand, value beauty, which can be scarce in middle-aged women. The scales start at different points, attitudes develop, and over time they shift. Important Facts by around 35, both men and women hover around 50 on the scale. At 40, men ascend to 80, women descend to 20. At 50, men hit 100, women drop to zero. Marriage, once a cornerstone, is now approached with caution. The risks seem to outweigh the benefits, leading to a noticeable reluctance among men to commit to long-term relationships. Marriage laws require a massive overhaul, and financial disincentives, like hefty taxes for singles, are suggested as a way to curb their perceived liability to society. If you have kids and stay married, the proposal is to stop paying taxes after a generation, as your offspring are now contributing to society. Modern women are portrayed as wanting it all, handsome, dedicated, traditional husbands, without embracing tradition themselves. This perceived imbalance prompts men to question the incentives for commitment, especially when women seem to be maintaining a degree of singledom. In the realm of modern dating, when Western women talk about a man, they're often referring to the top 5%, the best-looking, most successful, 
and most sought after. Average men are seemingly invisible in this dating landscape, where women, thanks to dating apps, can cherry-pick from a pool of similar candidates, leaving average men with little incentive to commit. Men going their way. The notion of more men going their own way has led to more women embracing the single life, even after crossing the beauty and age threshold. The reluctance to engage in relationships stems from the wearisome prospect of coming home to someone who is seemingly in constant competition. For those women practicing master dating, going out alone is viewed as normal, and perhaps there's no need for the internet's applause. Broadcasting solo ventures might be seen as seeking validation even in the pursuit of equality. After all, it's okay to be alone sometimes without a grand announcement to the world. But hold on to your hats, because we're about to dissect this dating drama. Picture this. Back in the day, these women had life handed to them on a silver platter, and the guys in their age bracket? Well, they got the thanks but no thanks treatment. Fast forward to today, and lo and behold, they're miffed that the guys of their generation are finally getting their moment in the sun. Let's face it. Dating has always been a bit of a maze, no matter which team you play for. Everyone's got their own set of standards for a partner. And these standards are as unique and subjective as a fingerprint. Some folks navigate the dating seas like they're born sailors, while others seem to be in the middle of a tempest. Fair's fair. It's a sliding scale for all genders. Women want confidence and stability, things that are about as scarce in young men as a snowstorm in the Sahara. Meanwhile, men are on the prowl for beauty, a rarity in middle-aged women. The scales start at different spots, attitudes come into play, and as time dances on, they shift. Marriage laws? Someone needs to slap them with a reality check. People are throwing around ideas like slamming singles with colossal taxes because apparently they're a burden on society. If you're hitched with kids, the proposal is to stop paying taxes after a generation because, you know, your offspring are now tax-paying adults. Modern women, oh boy, they want the whole shebang. Dreamy, dedicated, traditional husbands without having to dip their toes into tradition themselves. This lopsided equation has guys scratching their heads, wondering why they'd commit when the playing field seems a bit uneven. Master dating enter the wild world of modern dating, when Western women chat about a man, they're not talking about your average Joe. No, sir. They're setting their sights on the top 5%, the cream of the crop in looks, success, and desirability. Average men are like ghosts in this dating circus, where women, thanks to dating apps, can cherry-pick from a lineup of equally eligible bachelors. The end result? Your regular dude has zilch incentive to drop the commitment bomb. And for the women diving into the world of master dating, Going out solo is apparently a standard Tuesday affair. No need for the internet to shower you with confetti for every solo excursion. Maybe, just maybe, it's alright to fly solo without turning it into a Broadway production. Equality, after all, shouldn't always need a standing ovation. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my new video drops. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.